you started by, you're telling me something about your state of mind at the moment. How would you describe it? Would you say you are happy or depressed, confident or unsure of yourself? What words would you choose to describe your mood? Would you say, take your time? Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Now, your problem seems to centre around the delusion that you are a psychiatrist and that everyone you speak to is a patient of some sort. This is a rare but not unheard of syndrome. Hmm. Hmm. I think it might be helpful if we talk a little bit about your mother. What are your feelings towards your mother? Extraordinary. Really, very intriguing. Now, one mother, was your mother affectionate towards you when you were small? Affection? Affection? I wonder where you chose that word particularly. Mm, I think it might be helpful if you told me at this point if you could remember whether or not you were breastfed as an infant. <laughs> <laughs> Already, you see, we're focusing on breasts. Good, good. Now, how, how do you feel about breasts now? Do they, they frighten you? Because again, this is quite common. Breasts and fear. Now, that is interesting. That is interesting. Fascinating association. Breasts and fear. How do you think your father fits into this association? <laughs> right, right. Absolutely classic father. father. Alright. So, let's imagine a line, shall we? We have fear at one end, breasts at the other. Now, where would you place your father on that line? Lines! Lines! Now, that is interesting. Can I ask you to draw those lines in a minute? If you didn't know, something we call a Bender Gestalt test, which could be very convenient. But lines, let's explore those for a moment. They're very penetrative, aren't they? Very thrusting, very male, very masculine. They edge onwards, don't they? Hmm, right, right. So, now at last, the layers are beginning to unveil. This is very important. Uh, so we have, um, we have breasts, uh, we have male, we have fear, thrusting, penetrative, <laughs> urging, some sort of psychiatric jargon picked up from the Reader's Digest. Uh, how often would you say you masturbated? Right, I'm really going to be quite firm now, alright? I am the doctor, you are the patient. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, I'm sorry, I want to hear you say it. I want to hear you say, I am the patient. What was that? I am the patient. Good, good. Now that's a breakthrough. <laughs> now that you can say that, now that you can admit it, we can proceed. Excellent. You are the patient. I am, um, you are, perhaps we're all patients. <laughs> no, I'm not. Patient. Now, now, please remain calm, Mr. Windrush. Doctor Windrush. <laughs> now, you realise that we have to leave this phone, you'll be restrained. Oh, yes, so Rebecca, it's nothing to, to worry about. Where's the middle patient. session? Don't it's worry nothing about to worry about. Now, look, I can't help you unless you stop playing this ridiculous game. Extraordinary. I don't think I've ever come across a more deeply embedded illusion. It is not an illusion. Um. I think you last doctor tried during the course of Lentizol. Did you find it helped at all? All right. Let's go right back to the beginning, shall we? If you are, as you think, a doctor. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the full hour, Mr. Windrush. Uh, so, so, shall we say, set time next week? Yes, I think I can fit you in the same time next week. And for the next session, you can bring some photographs of your parents. That might be useful. Mm, yes, I think I might try a little course of hypnosis next time. <laughs> and if you just confirm the appointment with Rebecca on the way out, thank you. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but how do you both here? Uh, I think I'm seeing you first, Mr. Windrush. Mr. Evanson, would you mind waiting your time, please, your return? <laughs> Rebecca, the tears, please. <laughs> Extraordinary. So deep seated. Simply fascinating. <laughs> oh, well, now, Mr. Nicole, please don't take the decision to the crash and he's on his way out. <laughs>